everyone. Welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we have with us a local country and bluegrass musician who does a lot of performing around the region, including Oozle Finch and some other places in Hampton. Meet Rob Vanderreet. Welcome. Hi, how are you? It's great to meet Good. you. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your history as a musician. Um, it's, you, it, you didn't start out. <laughs> let's say, in the country music uh, genre. How did you start? Um, as, a, you know, as a kid, I guess, I, I, it was the country music and bluegrass kind of stuff was in church growing up. Um, in Virginia Beach? Yeah. I am surprised. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I'm from the western mm -hmm. part of the state, and it's kind of normal right. out there. Yeah, but I, grew I up don't in, think in, of it yeah, as In being... church, it was the banjo okay. and the mandolin and the flat, the flat top guitar, and uh, um, we didn't have the upright bass there or any of that stuff. It was, um, and then... Uh, like at six, I started playing piano and classical and all that stuff. Um, ended up going into guitar and bass in my teens, and then ended up in uh, Shenandoah Conservatory studying jazz piano. Wow. Yeah. So did you perform then jazz for a uh -huh. while? Yeah. Um, uh, I think we went to Japan while I was there, um, and then I had the opportunity to play with a couple, at the time, well-known jazz players. Uh, one of them still alive is Randy Brecker, the trumpet player, um, and then Bob Berg was the sax player I got to play with, you know. That's so, yeah, right. That was fun. So then when did this change happen? Or did you step away from performing for a while? Uh, I did, around 30-something maybe, early 30s. Uh, I kind of stopped playing music maybe for a couple years. Um, I had some things to kind of get straight in my life first. And then uh, when I came back, a friend of mine had invited me to play country music. And I just couldn't imagine doing that on the piano. <laughs> it, it was like after playing jazz and all this complex stuff, yeah. it was like, how do you go to go mm check, mm check, mm check, mm check. So I, uh, he offered me to play upright bass in, in, you know, as a duo with me and him. And uh, so I decided I'd call up, up an upright bass player and ask him, hey, man, how do I study this thing? What do I do with this? And, and he gave me some pointers, and I started just practicing you the just instrument. just kind of taught yourself? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Well, music is a, it's the theory of music translates to any instrument. You know, it's just a matter of learning the new mechanics. So it's like saxophone, all the same scales apply. It's just now you got to learn the particular mechanics of that instrument. Uh, but once you do, you can instantly then play everything that you ever could play on your original instrument now on this new instrument. Yeah, you know? I don't think I could, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's really impressive. So you've continued then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Uh, Songwrite and um, played in a couple bands, you know. Uh, there was Tin Roof Union. I got to perform with... Uh, Philip Roebuck, and, and then the bands I play in currently is Rodeo Clown and my band called The Angry Sinners. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What is it about the kind of country? You don't do the, the sort of contemporary pop mm, country. No, not at all. What, yeah. what is, um, how do you describe what you do and, and why? I, uh, I, I love the old sounding country music. Uh, I thought, I think the melodies are written beautifully. Um, like if you were to take away the lyrics and just play them, they, the melodies just sound awesome. They sound amazing. Um, and then the lyrical content is like stories about life, real living, you know, not grandpa on the tractor and the farm and all this stuff that the fake most, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, most of us have never lived on a farm. Yeah. So I might be able to write about it, but it, most people wouldn't be able to actually relate to that idea. So it's almost like you're just describing a dream that somebody has as opposed to any kind of authentic real living, you know. So you do that, and when you perform, it's on the piano or guitar, bass, it's some on, combination? It's on the upright bass most of the time. Uh, unless I'm playing solo, then it's got to be on the guitar because it's kind of hard to accompany yourself. It's on not it. a lead instrument. Not right? at all. Yeah, the upright bass doesn't <laughs> it work. It doesn't yeah. carry the melody. Yeah, it's just too much of a, of a gap between the vocal and the bass. So this kind of just works better as a, as a solo instrument. Yep. So one of the things you do, you do play at Oozle Finch, mm -hmm. your band yep. from time to time, yep. but you're also going to be um, one of the feature performers in a bluegrass festival. Yeah, it's called uh, Brewgrass 2017. Uh, it is sponsored by Oozle Finch and the Dead Rise, and um, the owners of the Dead Rise are uh, Sean Pape and uh, Gary McIntyre, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, and, and Pete Pittman is, I think, also helping them organize this whole the he's whole got a progress. Lot of background yeah, yeah. In he's music he's an amazing, amazing yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I'll be opening up the show, and then after me will be a band called No More Time, in which the only guy I know of that band is the, is the banjo player, um, a guy named Gary, amazing player. Uh, and then Brackishwater Jamboree, and those guys are amazing. Paul and all those guys are fantastic. And then Town Mountain closes out the show, and they're an amazing, you know, national bluegrass yeah, band. They're, yeah, they're really well known. Yes. So this will actually cost money. Like a lot of times where you're playing um, 
it's you come buy some drinks and listen. Exactly. Yeah. But there's a fee for this, and I in think fact, there advanced is. ticket sales. Yep. I think. I think I believe that the fee for this advance might be twenty dollars, and I think it's possibly twenty twenty five at the door. Uh, I can't remember that exactly. Uh, and the show goes from around two p.m. till eight p.m. or so that night. And it's at Uzelfinch. At Uzelfinch, right on, on the Fort grounds. Monroe. Yes. I'm sure, sure yep. it'll be. Um, they have food. They'll have food trucks, I believe. There. Uh, I think the Dead Rise is even going to be uh, doing food there as well. And so yeah, it'll just be. Uh, and for anyone that's not been there, it's it's a really amazing. I mean, like they got an awesome lawn out yeah, there. Great place a, to hang out. Yeah, it's a beautiful Absolutely. venue. Absolutely, you can yep. spend a lot of time mm -hmm. there. Um, what is the appeal of bluegrass? I mean, to me, okay, I used to live in the mountains of Western mm -hmm. Virginia, been to the Galax Fiddlers Convention, and it seems native to that area. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. I'm a little surprised at its popularity here. What do you think accounts for that? Um, Maybe it's just that we're in Virginia, and this is one of the homes of bluegrass and country music, and I think it just kind of filters through this through the whole state almost. Because uh, you know, I've been up into North uh, Winchester, Virginia, and they play bluegrass up there. Mm -hmm. And then you go to uh, Charlottesville, and they play bluegrass there, and you come down this way, and we play, play bluegrass here, and you go out to South Hill, Virginia, and they play bluegrass there. Or country music, it's just like the whole area, it seems to be one of the founding father areas of that realm of music. Well, you know, it is, and your connection to jazz is sort of interesting, because that's been named one of the original American mm -hmm. art forms, Absolutely. and certainly country and bluegrass and blues mm -hmm. are All also right there, yes. really, and mm -hmm. kind of regional mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. American music Absolutely. forms. Yep. Uh, it's, it was weird for me when I started playing bluegrass and country to realize how akin to jazz in, in many ways that the music is. Uh, you know, I just assumed it was some easy music, you know, where the bass player is basically playing two notes the whole time, one, five, one, five. <laughs> and you realize it's so much harder than that when you get into it because it requires amazing time, uh, you know, timekeeping. Uh, and it's really hard to be inventive with a simpler form of music. So it requires much more... You can't dazzle and pull out tricks. Yeah, well, you, you can, but you have to be really much more intentional about it. You can't... Um, uh, if you make it too fancy, you, you, you take away from the music. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's really a challenge to learn to constantly be creative within a simpler framework. You know, whereas jazz, it's like, oh, you can play anything. You can go outside of the key. And I don't really mean anything, but there's a lot more freedom and leeway in jazz. Well, there was a lot of improv you know? imp imp I can even say improvisation mm -hmm. in right. jazz. That's so exactly you did right. that. Did you write music when you were performing jazz? Uh, I might have written one jazz, you know, type tune. Um, so how did you evolve then as a, as a songwriter? As well, well, I actually have done that all of my life as a younger guy. Uh, and it wasn't until I started studying jazz that I kind of let that go because most of jazz that we play is mostly instrumental music. Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of stop paying attention to vocals and stop paying attention to uh, um, lyrical content and all that stuff because you're just worried about, you know, playing instrumentation, instrumental music. Um, and like I said, it wasn't until I stopped it that I went back and looked at it and was like, man, you know, I really shortchanged myself. I really should have been listening to the, some of the vocal jazz at that time as well because I'm sure I would have gleaned a lot of great stuff out of that. But as you, you know. said, your voice is a little not as well. Yeah, oh, I wish I could sing jazz and all that. Oh, I so wish I could, but I just can't. It just, it's not quite the non-nasally sound, you know, if that makes sense. Okay, you know. so tell us about the songs you're going to perform here today, and okay. then I'll, I'll shut up and let you actually play. Um, one of the songs is called As for Texas, uh, and the song, funny enough, I, I wish I could remember, but somebody at some point handed me a slip of paper, and it was one line on the slip of paper, uh, and the entire song came out of that one line. And I was like, wow, you know, this is amazing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, like a song about a, about a guy leaving, wanting to leave his state because he thinks it's boring and not fun, and, and ends up at the end of his life going, no, nah, I probably should get back home. You know, I probably should, should die and be buried in my home state where I love it. And uh, so that's, that's going to be one of the songs. And the other song is called All I Ask For, and it's... Um, like a fictitious letter to a fictitious woman, as if I had to write a letter saying, this is what I would want. Uh, that's kind of what the song is. It's like, all I ask for is these things. Not a lot, just these simple things, you Got know? It. Yeah. Got it. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you. And we're gonna close this part okay. and take a brief pause and then come back with you performing. Cool. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be right back. 
How you doing? My name is Rob Vandereet, and this first song is called All I Ask For. It's a country tune, a fictitious letter to a fictitious woman, uh, as if I was going to say this is all, all the things that I ever need. So here it goes. It's called All I Ask For. I'm sure I'll disappoint and fail yet again And being a man has its limits and ends I ain't too bad a sinner, but I'm not a saint All I ask for if you choose to love me is a little restraint You bite your tongue and I'll bite mine too And I'll watch the words that I speak to you And you'll guard your thoughts and keep them in check All I ask for if you choose to love me is a little respect I could understand if I was no good man Treated you just like a dog If I raised my voice and lowered my hand Well then I'd deserve it all But I'm an honest man and I treat you kind I just want you to want to be mine to change or control what you do so don't try to change me I'm no worse than you I'll give you my all till death do us part all I ask for if you choose to love me take care of my heart When we get old and I let you down I'll visit you often while I'm still around And I'll bring you flowers until it's my time And they'll lay me right down beside you the day that I die yeah, I'll be laying right there beside you the day that I die. Thank you. All right, let me put a capo on here. This next song is called uh, As for Texas, and uh, I actually wrote the song based on one line. Uh, a friend of mine handed me a slip of paper one day and said, hey, man, here's a freebie. Here's a free line for you. So this song is what came out of that line. Woke up this morning with my head still in the clouds The fog was like a blanket and the quiet seemed so loud Old coffee and a cigarette for breakfast And all I could think about was getting out of Texas The day I turned 18 years old I was gone Climbed into my old Chevelle and drove all day long To see the countryside, the city life The bright lights of a Vegas night 
I want to see it all Now as for Texas I'll be gone First stop was Wichita, then KCMO I went on down to Mardi Gras But the land it lays a little low Day or two in Memphis and Nashville My daddy said, come on home Don't think I ever will The day I turned 18 years old I was gone I climbed into my old Chevelle And drove all day long See the countryside, the city life, the bright lights of a Vegas night. I want to see it all. Now as for Texas, I'll be gone. Getting a little tired now I'd love some place to rest my bones Daddy's gone, mama won't far behind him I wish they was still around, I miss them I know I said I never would I'm going back on my word I'm heading back to Texas The day I turned 18 years old I was gone Climbed into my old Chevelle and drove all day long I saw the countryside, the city life, the bright lights of a Vegas night I went and did it all, now as for Texas, I'm coming home I went and saw everything I thought there was to see Now as for Texas that's where they'll bury me Thank you.